And you were inside the nightclub uh, when the shooting took place, correct? I was, yes. Can you uh, tell me about what time did that start? Uh, probably about 1.32. It, it was, I just got a uh, drink from the bar and headed over to the side um, across from the bar. And um, you just hear, next thing you know, it's like bang, bang, bang. And, and you realize that, okay, there's, a, it, there's something other than music going on here. And uh, when you look over and you realize that bodies are dropping, you're hearing screaming, glass from behind the bar shattering, and, and bodies dropping, you just know that it's something is real, and, and that it's a real gun, it's not music. And it was just, just terrifying. Did, did you see the shooter's face at all? I didn't see the shooter. I didn't have my, I, I, don't, I can't see from a far distance, so I didn't have my glasses on. So, so I just, when I go to the bar, I don't, I don't try to have my glasses. So I don't remember if I had them on me or if they fell. I just, I don't really quite remember, but I must not have had them because I really couldn't see. Uh, some people are uh, claiming that the shooter was in the club previously in the night, hanging around maybe uh, having a drink or something, and then may have came back in. Can you say, say any comments to that? Uh, when I was at the police station um, and they were questioning us, um, we, I was talking to the door lady, and I'd asked her, I was like, so what happened? And she was like, I carded everybody just like I did, and, and they all got bracelets. And I was like, well, yeah, because when I got there, before 11, it's free. But after 11, you have to pay $10. And I got there at 11.08, and I looked at my phone, and I'm like, it's 11.08. I'm like, come on. She goes, ten dollars, sweetie. <laughs> I was like, okay. So I gave her my my ten dollars, and I was like, eight minutes. But I just walked in, and then I heard all Latin music. I didn't even know it was Latin night. I was going to meet a friend who said, let's go out and have a drink. I said, okay, sure. And first time going out, I'd never been there before, and it was just the way the night ended was tragic. But in the in the moments leading to it was. It was fantastic. People were having fun. People were dancing. Uh, of the whole community, it wasn't just LGBT. Even though it is an LGBT bar, it's the whole community of, of, of many different people from all over the community were there. There were people from out of state that were visiting that were there. It was just, it's just a place for fun and excitement, dancing and drinks. It's, that's what you do when you go out. Uh, how long did it take for the the police to respond? Yeah, they were quick. Police were, were very responsive. Everybody was quick getting here, uh, and, and the community coming together was rather quick as well. Was, did it take long for you to get out? Um, how about how long do you think it took for you to escape the club and begin uh, helping the people across the street? Uh, 30, 45 seconds, maybe a maybe minute less or so. I just know that when I the guy next to me was shot, I dropped down with him, and that's when I, I crawled out um, with my, using my belly, my arms, and my legs. I wasn't kneeling. I was, I was getting out. And when I had felt the cement outside on the patio, I knew I was out. And I went a little more out and then got up and started bobbing and weaving and, and, and um, zigzagging across the street. And then later found out that people were still getting shot outside. I was just like, oh, my God, how, how did I do that? How did I make it out? How is this possible? It was just it was crazy and it was intense. You said that people were still being shot outside, you believe? When I, when I was at the uh, bank watching it for the first time, waiting to be interviewed, I was watching the news. We don't have cable. I haven't seen any of this. I don't know what's going on yet. I just know I was there. I've, I've done my talking. And to actually go online, there's nothing local because we don't have cable, so we can't see the stories. We're not, I don't, so I don't know what was going on. But on inside the bank, they, they had said that there were still people getting shot while they were leaving and getting outside. And I was like, oh my gosh, really? And when I had helped the first victim, we were outside. We were actually right there, and that was the sidewalk. So the pulse is right there. So people ran ran all different directions, all not different even... Because fortunately, the hospital's close, but some people may have ran this way, too. They ran everywhere. They were uh, People were running everywhere. They were scattering. And with Pulse being right there, the sidewalk we were at was right there. And I didn't realize I had my drink in my hand still, crawling out. And it was just incredible because my, my glass was next to me when I was helping the first victim when we put my bandana in um, the, his bull hole. I knocked over so I was like, why am I so, so, and I was like, oh my glass. I was like, wow. I was like, I can't believe I brought this out here. This is crazy. Because instinctively, I, yeah, I, I, it was just get out, get out, get out. Did the lights come on or the music stop immediately? Do you remember that I at all? I don't remember it. I, I really don't. I just, I just remember hearing the bang, 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 and the, just the continuous go of it. And the, it I looked like that the uh, the people were being rescued by pickup trucks. Was it they just were. quicker because the ambulances weren't here um, yet? There were ambulances here, but there were so many victims. Over 100 people shot. You know, there was they just didn't have enough uh, 
um, vans and and they were tagging people yellow red just to know who was important who needed to go fast who needed to go quick and we were just carrying people and, and getting them to safety as quick as we could and trying to uh, be with them there was one that I stayed with until somebody did come because I told her I said I'm not leaving you until until somebody comes to take you I'm not leaving you and I was asking her questions like come on come on that's who you saw us carry because we were trying to carry her and then when we sat her down I stayed with her I said here and I put her head on my lap and I held her and I was like we're not leaving I'm not leaving you until somebody comes to get you I'm not leaving you until somebody comes to get you you are safe we're safe I just kept talking to her and she was like I just want to so close my eyes and I was like don't 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 stay awake stay awake so I found out she was a Taurus I was a Taurus found out that she just moved from Ohio like I had just moved from Ohio found out her favorite animal was a lion so I told her that she's a uh, king of beasts so enemies beware and Hakuna Matata it means no worries so just just you're gonna make it through this you're gonna make it through this and I said when you do get done and when you do get get over here and just remember just put Hakuna Matata where where your arm where you were shot over that just about that scar knowing that it means no worries because you made it out alive and and it's okay because you're the king of beasts you're a lion remember that you're a fighter and a survivor and I was trying to keep her awake and that's what I did I you know I didn't know if she was drinking blood is thin when you do so you don't know how much blood loss she had already had previously and she said she had heart problems and there was no way no way I was gonna let her die in my arms uh, my last question for you was just about the uh, the off-duty police officer they they think that he may have retreated after the, the not retreated but you know backed off when the shooter took people into the bathroom or when he retreated into the bathroom did, did you see anything like that I, mean, I know there's a lot of chaos going on um no I, I i haven't i didn't even see that i didn't even know there was security there i know there was security as bouncers or what otherwise but when i had entered in i entered the i was it was there was free um valet parking and with with with, with the valet parking um i pulled into the wrong side of the Way and they're like, oh, you just came in, but we'll take your car. It's okay. I'm like, oh, okay. So I don't know if the guy that was next to him in the back was a security officer, because coming out for the first time in Orlando, I had no idea what what was going on. So I'm not used to the security thing. So uh, there was there was no metal detectors or anything like that. It was just, hi, how you doing? All right, have a good time. That's like any place should be. We shouldn't have to worry about this. Shouldn't at all. Thank you so much for your time and, uh, and what you did helping rescue people out there. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. The Governor Governor Scott actually gave me a medal today. He um, wanted to meet with me personally and tell me that uh, of my bravery and what I did and to help and, and be with the community. And I was like, oh, thank you. And this ribbon came from a mother. Um, I'm not sure if it was a fallen victim or if her son was gay or she, she was crying and she was hugging me and she said, I want you to have this. And it's important to me. And I was like, okay, uh, definitely. I will. Thank you. And we hugged and she was crying and she made me cry because it made me feel special. She said, thank you for your voice and doing what you do. And so I wore it on my shirt that day. But then when I came in, uh, came in the next day, I don't even know. What, I, I don't know what day it is. So my, I don't have a watch every day. It's just the sun's going down. It's coming up and it's just it's just been one long nightmare. And so I wore this on my hat because everyone knows me for the hat. So I wanted to make sure that I wore this ribbon in, in her honor for giving it to me to represent that love grows, love is strong, and love wins.